Hello again, welcome back for another quick uh, video on um, mobile automation, new ADC troubleshooting tips. So um, today I'm going to discuss about uh, our new ADC, the mobile automation, and how we can um, find documentation and troubleshooting um, common issues. So these are the two topics I would like to cover today. Um, one is to find how to find the documentations and how to troubleshoot common issues. So first, um, to get the documentations, everything is available in Sage X3 Online Help. So I have provided the links to access them, or I can. I will also show you how to access it um, using the Sage X3 image. So. We, could, uh, we can find the information on licenses, badges, functional authorizations, and accessibility. Also, we could find the information on um, how to set up and check the server in environment for the mobile automations web service. And also, we can find information on um, how to uh, perform different transactions. Sorry. And then uh, the second topic is uh, how we could uh, troubleshoot common issues. So when um, before we start uh, testing or checking what's going on, we would like to know, or uh, Sage X3 support would like to know what version of Sage X3 that you are running and uh, what's the version of the Sage X3 services. And then we also would like to know whether it's a new implementation versus um, an upgrade. And if you know the steps to reproduce, um, you know we would like to have that as well. And then uh, the device information. So sometimes the issue uh, would not occur on the web browser URL, the handheld URL, um, and it only happens on the uh, handheld device. So in that case, we would like to know what's the make and model of the device plus the, the web browser version that you are running on that device. And then also we would like to know uh, or have the log files. So the extreme server log files and the circuit server log files. Then, um, you know, you could uh, can, you can send us the, uh, the setup of the um, MS SQL service, X3 solutions, and classic SOAP pools configuration screenshots so that we could uh, um, um, verify the settings are correct or not. And then um, you can run a um, Windows PowerShell command to see uh, the services is up and running. And also we have uh, several knowledge base articles uh, with different issues that uh, we have come across so far in mobile automation. So some of them I have listed here. So how to enable debug uh, level logging and then additional notes when installing or upgrading X3 services. And then we could um, search by the keywords in the error message. So what I meant by that is like you have to have the uh, knowledge base open in order to access this. Um, so here the keyword is the lot potency. So when you are searching for uh, error messages, um, you know you could uh, use the uh, keyword. So for example, in the extreme extreme uh, extreme server log file, you can find uh, the error um, with the lot potency allowed. Okay, so here you can use some of these error messages to search. And additionally, you can use the mobile automation um, topic or like uh, search criteria to search. Okay, so uh, let's go back to the slide. 
And now let's go to Sage X3 and uh, let's take a look at the uh, documentation and uh, um, some of the settings that I would like to uh, show you where to find them. Okay. So I'd like to first open uh, Sage X3. So this image is uh, version 12, patch 30. All right, so first uh, I'd like to go to the online help center. And on the how to section, you can find uh, on the distribution um, column the mobile automation ADC for distribution. So this is where you will find all the documentations for the mobile automation. So first, um, here you can see uh, the prerequisites. So if I click on the prerequisites, it will take me to this page. And here you can see for information how to set up and check the server environment for mobile automation web service, refer to the Sage X3 services installation documentation. So this is the main uh, documentation about the installation. So here you can find um, how to install the X3 services. Okay, so the prerequisites are Sage X3 services component requires at least X3 2021 R2 um, and installation using Microsoft SQL Server or an Oracle database. You must install it on a Windows Server 2016 or 2019 operating system. So, okay, and then um, we also need a ADC badge. So for example, we have three badges um, based on um, you know your requirements. So if you are using only the distribution module, you need only the ADC DIS badge. And if you are using only the manufacturing, you need ADC MAN badge. But if you are using both, you would uh, you can use the ADC all uh, to both uh, distribution and manufacturing. And then you can find here the install Sage X3 services. So the steps are first you have to download that um, X3 services from the uh, knowledge, base, uh, knowledge base portal. And then you can unzip and then continue with the installation process. So it's uh, clearly mentioned what needs to be done um, and then you can follow that. Okay, and if you want to uninstall here, there's an, uh, um, a command that you can use using the Windows PowerShell to uninstall. And then also you could uh, check, um, make sure the install is complete and start complete messages return. Um, you can verify that by invoking uh, this command invoke web request using the address uh, and the port number. So when it is functioning correctly, you should get this these lines with an OK. And then after you install the Sage X3 services, um, you need to go into the um, um, Sage X3 and then configure the, the rest, so which is um, configure the MS SQL Server service. And then you have to configure the X3 solutions and then the SOAP pool configuration. Okay, so everything is uh, clearly mentioned here, how to do it. And then once you've done it, you can access um, 
the URL here that is HTTP and your Syracuse um, server name and the port number and slash handheld is how you, you can access um, the mobile automation um, page. So once you can access it without an issue, you can see all the buttons for different transactions. And here down here, you can find some of the, um, the scan devices, scanning devices uh, that are compatible. Okay, so if you want to have that information, you can find it here. And also the, the supported browser is uh, Chrome on these um, devices, Chrome version 45 and above. Okay, so that is basically about how to install it. And then um, uh, we can uh, check uh, whether the installation is good or bad by going into the PowerShell and invoking the um, um, command, right? So if it is all working fine, you should uh, get something like this, where it says the status, status code 200, status description, okay. And, um, and once you install everything, um, it will be, you can find it under the Sage, Sage um, SafeX3 and then X3-Services directory. And then here you can see the Extreme Config, YML, Extreme Security, YML files. And then the logs will be under here. So the log file that I mentioned is this one, the extreme.server log files. <coughs> so these log files will give you the information as to what is the version of the X3 services. And then if you are getting some errors, um, you know, you can identify the errors by looking at the column here, error column and the message will appear here. Sometimes you will not get the error here. Uh, in that case, we have to um, see if something is wrong with the setup or not. Okay, and, in, and then um, also they have the um, links for each uh, transactions. So here yeah, you can find how to log in to the mobile automation and how to add the uh, icon because when you're using a uh, um, device, so we recommend users to uh, use a shortcut uh, to access the mobile automation because if you don't do that, sometimes you will have issues uh, seeing the buttons on the screen. And then, um, and for the transactions, so you can say if you want to see the information on receipt transactions, we can go into that link and then you can find purchase receipts, put away plans, view purchase orders to receive, view purchase orders. And then under this link, you can find the detail explanation on how to um, navigate through the purchase receipt um, screens in mobile automation. And as also they do have a video on that as well. Okay, 
and um, also you can find out if there are any limitations so on the current limitations you can see you cannot customize the different pages in mobile automation transactions and you cannot add and manage any specific field or customize functionality developed in sage x3 i believe down the road um, these things can be um, it maybe it might be available but uh, at the moment we cannot customize it okay so that's a short uh, explanation on how to access the documentations and then um, regarding the um, troubleshooting you know I, I showed you how to check the version for the x3 services and then um, the log files where to find the log files um, and then um, you know um, running the Windows PowerShell plus um, I will also quickly show you the places that uh, we need the screenshots which is the X3 solutions area so you can go there and then uh, take a screenshot of the setup and then the X3 uh, MS SQL service screenshot here and then the classic SOPOS configuration right so those are the places that uh, we do request require to see whether the uh, settings are correct or not and then um, um, and then also uh, you can go under development um, scripts and then web services and these are the uh, web services that uh, are used for the mobile automation which is AOWS import and then um, you know you can see these three items here AOWS export uh, plus the CWS uh, so if you can search filter by CWS and you can see the, the remaining uh, web services so you know normally when you are changing something or something um, not working always stop the soap web services pool come here and then um, publish the uh, AOWS import and then publish these uh, web services you know that you can identify by this uh, description which function that or the transaction that you are on and then uh, under some of the other transactions are located on the setup um, usage import export uh, templates you can search by the same filter cws so here you can find the license plate number grouping so here you can validate these import templates as well so basically that's the in a nutshell about this mobile automation and uh, there may be other uh, recordings that I might uh, do um, down the road um, on this uh, with several other topics. Um, but for now, uh, you know, you have to make sure when um, this classic SOAP pools configuration, um, the pools are running, right? So if it's not running, you can click on the action icon and start update. It will start the pool. Um, so I think um, that's all for now on this. Uh, but uh, I hope uh, you know where to look for when it comes to a mobile automation installation instructions and uh, um, the entry transaction, how to instructions, um, and then. Um, I will if I get any other topics that uh, are interesting probably I will uh, create another recording uh, soon um, so until then um, I would like to say thank you for uh, your time and um, we'll meet on the next uh, topic have a good day bye